again. It's been a while. As you can see, I'm on City Skylines again. Built this big world. It's not the same as the other one, as you can see, the airport's gone, but... This is big world and it's got no problems. So it's just a nice place. Um, it's based on like a Scottish new town. You see, back in, back in my, <laughs> back in the in the forties, um, Glasgow and Edinburgh and Aberdeen and Dundee's populations started growing massively, and they couldn't find houses for them. All they had was slums. So then they decided to build completely. They start building completely new towns on the outskirts. With Dundee, it was Glenrothes. With Edinburgh, it was Livingston. With Aberdeen, it was Port Lethem. But with Glasgow, they had like 15. I'm just joking. They had three new towns East Kilbride, Cumbernauld, and Irvine. And they built all these new towns. Um, so that's why I've not got like a big old city centre. But this is like a new town. So let's begin. So you get to this new town because you got a motorway that comes along here. You know, it goes down around and the trains go over <laughs> but then right here is a big gigantic roundabout where the the cars come the cars come up like through here and come up and then go around the roundabout over the motorway and go onto the other motorway but I'll, I've made four lanes here that way it can support other cars going on the other lanes but then it just slims down back to three so here normal three lane motorway it turns into this bridge and there's lots of traffic on this bridge and this bridge goes across the river Var, I gave it a name, River Var there's also the rail bridge but it goes across here and you get a view of the hospital and all the buildings of the town here you got another roundabout and the motorway continues and goes to this big intersection going into another motorway but we're interested in this roundabout so you come up here you come off this exit and then you've got a shop there here you got a care home and a, um, a chil children's care centre so sort of like a children's health centre and these are both part of the main big hospital Queen Mother Hospital and Care Home gave it a name and this is Old Var Road <laughs> and you've got and um, this is where all the buses would pull in if you've ever been a big hospital in Scotland like um, Queen Elizabeth University in Glasgow or Nine Wells in Dundee, they always have like a bus station. So this one, it's got loads of bus shelters where all the buses park and everything, and wait for people to come and they take them to their town centre. Here you got a newer building that's part of the um, hospital. New building. I like these trees, but a new building. You got a taxi ranch here. You got two big old blocks, like tower blocks, here the roads turns into a big roundabout here and you've got trees a big windmill that powers a big windmill and a big power station that power the town and the hospital you got a park in the hospital if you brought your kid and they were away to visit someone but they didn't want to so they played in the park whilst you went and <laughs> visited them you could just see them through the window like hiya <laughs> uh, um, here all the trees are dead because it's a big polluted area. This is a big industrial estate and it's a recycle centre. So you've got the toll booths here for the um, you got a bus depot too. But here you got a boiler and a big toll booth area. This is where all the vans come in you know the um, bin lorries and they would come in and take the stuff from the recycling centre and then go back in, in more industrial areas this is the fire station and yeah there's loads of trees everywhere I think it makes it look very realistic like this if I had this shot that looks real realistic this is um, I gave all the places names in the town all the different districts so Eastfield and I've gave all the roads names so you got Baladine Drive <laughs> Balmidi Place <laughs> Balmidi Place and these are all ending here and this building here, I think, looks really like a Scottish house. It's sort of like that batter on the house. Um, Baladine Road, Carroll Street, Eastfield Road, Eastfield Crescent, 
Eastfield Terrace, Old Var Road, and this um, where the road were here at the roundabout. Um, it continues here as West Queensway, like a big motorway, dual carriageway, and that hits another roundabout. But you got Old Var Road, St Mungo's Drive, and this is another area called Kirkvarna Village. Usually, new towns are built around smaller villages and named after them. So Kirkvar Village is most of the streets are named after saints, so St Andrew's Place, St Enoch's Place, Village Road. It's home to a nice little school, shops, library, and um, a what's it called cemetery. Yeah, Village Road, St Mungo's Drive, Village Roads, St Nicholas Drive, St Mary's Road, St John's Place. St Giles Place, yeah, and this is the high school here, um, yeah, and here's Woodside, you've got South Road and another big roundabout, you've got a school here, um, Eastfield, Balladine Terrace, Balloony Place, Balermo Drive, where's Balermo Place, I had a Balermo Place, don't know where it's gone. Uh, Val Balony Crescent, St Andrews Road, Sophia Street, Eastfield Drive. Yeah, you got bus stations, bus stops, Huntley Place, and here the road ends, and it turns into a roundabout. The Queensway turns into that. Then the Queensway, there's South Road that comes off the roundabout. You got loads of trees here. Another care home. Here you got a. Um, playground, a big park, and the school's like town centre park area, but the Queensway continues past the roundabout, and it's got a big bridge that goes over it for cyclists, they can go, this is the town centre, and it's got a big skyscraper, this is called um, Var Side House, because of the river Var, um, but this is a bridge for pedestrians to get over the busy roads to the other side, and this is the university. So college, here you've got a shopping centre, I'm waiting to build a bigger one, I just need to get a bigger population. Here you've got more parks, more parks in the townhouse, here you've got the library here, here you've got the police station, another fire station, this is another sort of like town hall area. This is, this street's called Central Drive, because it's like a big central road, Queensway continues to here and gets to another roundabout. Here's East Central Drive, which is where the train station is. There's the train station here with a bus stop in front of it that's really busy. I mean, look at all those people. But the train comes through here and stops. Yeah. <laughs> and here's West Central Drive with the bus station. It's uh, another busy place. Up here, you've got uh, the road. It comes over um, another motorway. And when it comes over here, it goes to like sort of an expo center. So you've got a s park here and very glitched out. But here you got a stadium, <laughs> and here you got a big car park. Here you got a um, theater and an expo center, exhibition center place. And powering it's these wind farms. The motorway continues past under the road. We're here. It goes past this stone circle on top of a hill, loads of trees, and the train goes through the station and past over the motorway and um, here the central drive it comes into this motorway where the Queensway is and Woodside Drive that goes into the Woodside area of town it's got a park but this roundabout has got another bridge going over it so people can get from one side of the roundabout to the other without dying so the bridge is nice it's a nice bridge yeah, it's very realistic, because there's lots of roundabouts in new towns in Scotland. And then, the um, Queensway turns into a motorway called West Queensway, and that continues through here. This is based off of a road in Dundee called the Kingsway, and that's sort of a motorway. It's attached to the M90, and it has a retail park that comes off of it, like this one. And it's a big, massive retail park. I couldn't really do that in City Skyline, so I just put low density commercial and I couldn't build car parks so I just put pathways but it looks good 
and you have to forget it, this street has names but and this is sort of like a drive through restaurant that's why you can go around it and here it oh oh well but here the road comes up here and another roundabout that goes above it and here you got the industrial estate and here you got the football stadium which is home to our football team Kirkvar United FC come on Kirkvar okay. and then the West Queen Queensway the motorway goes through here and then this is where it hits another roundabout and stops being a motorway <laughs> like stop it stop being a motorway and then the road comes up here becomes a bridge going over this motorway which goes all the way over there and um, here's Curtin which is um, another like housing area housing estate and this is like the town centre of Curtin well, like, it's still part of the main town the main new town it's just a I don't know okay you've got High Street in a shops area, you got a graveyard with a church in it, Curtin Road. Here you got another care home, a medical centre, and a primary school. Curtin Primary School. It's quite nice. This town. I'd like to live in it. Actually, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite realistic for a city skyline's vanilla build. Like it looks very Scottish. And um, also the train tracks. The start up here and the trains turn around here oh there's got a train there it's cool but then they come along here following the motorway it's here where they turn around go up a bridge and then hit the station which is getting too overcrowded and then it goes underground like under the motorway it comes back out from its tunnel behind all the houses and the trees and then there's a bridge that goes over it, it's Curtin Road, and another train. Let's see if it goes it goes in the tunnel. See if it comes out at the station. Yay! And it's gonna stop, is it? Is it gonna stop? Yay, it stopped at the station. Okay. And then the road comes under here. Goes around. Goes around until it becomes a bridge. Going over the river Var for going up here. I may build another little village, just, um, this is sort of the main town, but I may build like a couple of smaller villages on the outskirts and maybe on across the other side I'll build like a village here facing the bridge, that'll be good. But that's it really. So I hope you enjoyed this video, sorry it's been a while, but I hope you enjoyed and um, remember kids, okay? like to thank you all for watching and I have to be thankful um, because why not <laughs> okay um, I have to be thankful to the great city of oh my god a clenched